And um, tell me about um, how are you now? Like, I mean, you, your arm, your right arm is not great. However, you did it doesn't 50, work. Okay, so you did fifty lengths still this morning, which is yes, forty-five minutes, forty-eight minutes, an hour, or whatever. More? Uh, just under an hour. I'm, I've got slower. I used to be able to do six. I, so I, I cut 10 lengths off so I could be here today. And um, yeah, I used to be able to do 60 lengths in 65, 66 minutes. I can't now. I, if I push myself, I can do it in the same time. But when I swim as I normally swim, it's now taking 75 to 80 minutes to do 60 lengths. So there's quite a... So, that's one of the things I do. I measure myself continuously to set a baseline of, of, of basically the only thing that I'm concerned about is my daily functionality. If I can process this and get it out in things that make a difference in the world, I do what I have to do to make that happen. Wow. Existence is not an option. Okay. Interesting. And, uh, and you say you, you say when you came on, it, you, you, you were shaving before, you know, you had time yes. to shave. But I have to ask you about your beard. <laughs> uh, and right. This podcast only goes out as, a, as a, an audio, however, we can put out snippets of it. But, you know, you have a fantastic beard. And you call it a beard or do you call it goatee? And what's it all about? Well, it is a beard. Oh, by the way, uh, if you can give me the video, uh, I will cut it up into little bits and post it and obviously tag you in because that'd be fantastic as well. Um, basically, you know how, um, I don't know if you do know how, but a lot of women, when they end a relationship, they go for a whole new look, you know, uh, hair colouring or, or fashion or whatever it is, to, to uh, give closure to the previous relationship. So... I, for reasons I'm going to discuss in an interview next week, uh, have very seldomly interacted with women. With women, in 50 years of life, I've only been in relationships for two years, three girlfriends over over 30 years, um, and so uh, I nearly got married 2009. Um, I say nearly got married. I was trying to create my version of normality for this other person without realizing so much about myself that I made all sorts of behavioral errors. I, I jot them down in, my, in the book I wrote and there's like 20 behaviors that from one perspective look like caring and, and everything that a woman would want from a man. So getting her up in the morning, taking her to the train station, making sure she had breakfast, making sure she had iron tablets when she was on her period, loads of stuff I did. But then you go, oh, I she was here 10 years older than me all the way through life without me doing this. So what right have I got to do this? So anyway, that went horribly wrong. And so I started knowing that women typically don't like beards, but this is 2009, I started growing and my intention was to grow it down to the floor, but it got to this long and it just won't go any further. Um, so yeah, uh, basically I was intended to go for the wise sage look. I'm more of a sort of evil professor genius at the moment. Like I'm, -ah 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 -ah. so uh, yeah. Oh, very good, very good. And uh, let me stay with that for a second. This is fascinating. And uh, so, do you, do you want to get into a relationship in the near, near future? Well, so the what uh, right so i'm constructing this thing for girls education and the woman that i've chosen to be chief mentoring officer uh has been has done a number of things she's a nurse uh she's a doctor a doctorate she's a, a um, imposter syndrome coach a birthing coach that sort of thing so she knows a lot and when I discovered about my brain, she has similar properties to me, which is why we get on. So I did an interview for her uh, talking about imposter syndrome from a male experience because women admit it happens and feel it very vociferously. But I know, and listen, the bigger you are, the harder the problem, the least likely it is to happen. That's what excites me. 